Okay, this one makes me a big hypocrite, but it's worth discussing because I was just going to state this in a comment, uh, but it's worth uh, making a video for. The radiation in tobacco is well documented. Apparently it's been known about since 1964. Um, I'm seeing a lot of dead links to this 1964 Philip Morris memo uh, regarding polonium in tobacco. And it's there by way of um, commercial fertilizer and uh, phosphate fertilizer specifically. Um, I'm still gaining a complete understanding of it, uh, if that can ever be achieved. Um, but basically the, the way the fertilizer is processed um, imparts radiation to it at, at one point. And um, it's basically too expensive to remove from tobacco. What I'm trying to figure out... Um, well, I guess the reason it's uh, worse in tobacco than it is in commercially grown food is that the food is eaten and passed usually, hopefully, within 24 hours. So there's not as much time for the, the radiation to absorb, whereas with smoking you get the buildup of tar and a buildup of radiation so I mean the, there is a theory out there that the tobacco itself is not cancer causing it's the the method by which we grow it that makes it cancer causing um, I mean if someone's willing to do a test and smoke lettuce for uh, 25 times a day for a few years and see what happens and then I guess the other thing to address is why um, cannabis doesn't have the same effect. And uh, I guess I should include the link to the patent uh, that is held by the American government that basically claims that cannabis is uh, or has anti-cancer properties. Uh, you know, there's the whole Rick Simpson story of him curing cancer with with cannabis oil, with, you know, the oil that I remember from high school days, $15 a, a vial. Um, yeah, apparently when applied to skin cancers directly or taken orally in mass quantity, it cures cancer. Unfortunately, it's uh, illegal to claim cures for cancer. The FDA has a lot of weird technicalities on that. Uh, yeah, I've gone out. I'll include some links to some relevant material. Thanks for listening.